to my channel and um, today's video as you can see I look a little bit crazy I have no eyebrows on this is going to be a completely in-depth um, tutorial with your eyebrows I don't quite know how this is going to go because I'm I don't feel like I'm that great at them to be honest with you and because I have none it's kind of hard to tell you you know about all the hairs and how to do it because I have no hairs so basically I'm just going to go through what I would do um, with mine and what I'm going to do is do kind of like a really natural-ish look on this side and then more bold on this side so I tend to go for two different eyebrows depending on how I am during the day what I'm doing and um, how my makeup is so obviously the stronger eyebrow is for more of the glam looks really bold eyes bold lips and then you've got really nice strong eyebrows or this side is more of the day-to-day -day, um, kind of eyebrows which look more natural but not very natural because I'm not a natural person. So yeah, if you want to see how I do this, then please stay tuned. Okay, what I'm going to do first is do this side, and this is going to be more of the kind of natural, but it's still going to be a bold brow. Um, if you don't like bold brows, there's no point in watching this at all, because that's just me. I don't wear brows like this, because I literally look like I've got an ongoing forehead, and it just does not look pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you this side first. This is using the L'Oreal Paris uh, Brow Artist Expert. This is in the shade Brunette, uh, Ash Brunette. So basically it comes with a little spoolie here, and then you've got this side, which is like, basically like exactly the same as the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, which I absolutely love, and I clicked it the other day and it's all gone. So I was not in the good frame of mind that day, so I went out straight away and bought this, and this is exactly the same, and it's probably half the price. So if you want to save your buck, this is definitely the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you closer and then we're going to get going to this brow. Okay, so this is not a very good flattering um, kind of angle, but we're going to go with it. You're all up close and personal with me. So as you can see, I've got nothing on my eyebrows at the moment. They are very, very sparse. I have a tattoo area here, which I did mention in my last video. It kind of goes round, which I find it closes out my eye quite a lot. So I actually look like I've got smaller eyes, whereas if I was to do a longer tail and bring it out a little bit more, then it makes your eyes look like you've got more eye space, which is obviously what you want to do. This side, and then obviously I'm going to spoolie out, brush them all up. And with this side, obviously we're going to go kind of natural. I wouldn't say it's like really, really natural. It's not going to be, so just a FYI. So what I'm going to do is take the pencil side, and all I do is brush underneath, sort of like halfway. So I leave the front completely bare and go halfway underneath and draw the line basically where you want the shape to go. Um, I haven't got a lot of hairs to work with so I tend to just make my eyebrow how it, the, how it wants to sit basically. Um, but to be honest, every day is different with my eyebrows. <laughs> so we will see how this one goes, I couldn't tell you. So basically now, because I've got that tail here, if you can see it, I then ignore that because I will carve that out I then go for it pulled outwards, like so. Obviously people haven't got eyebrows um, tattooed like me, so this is where it kind of, if you haven't got hairs and you want to make this kind of shape, then just go along with what I'm doing. But obviously if you've got really dark prominent hairs on your eyebrows, it's probably not going to work. But um, mine I'm quite lucky because I'm light, I can draw in what I kind of want to go for that day. So yeah. So then what I do is I take sort of three quarters of the way, I will then go across and then I'll then join up this point. And basically what I want to do is create kind of hair like strokes but with my hairs there's it's kind of hard when you haven't got a lot going on, it's hard to make it looking as natural as possible. Um, without being too bold. So all I basically do is take this and just generally go where my natural hairs go and follow it through, just to deepen it all up through there. And then if I feel like I've gone a bit too heavy handed, I'll take my spoolie and just brush away any of that excess and it kind of makes it look that little bit more natural. I try and not do too much on the ends because I haven't got any hairs there, it's pointless and it kind of takes away too much of the product because you want, because I haven't got a tail, I kind of want that product really, really heavy there. So I try and keep it really opaque over this side and then work through this area here with the color to make it look more hairy. <laughs> 
basically. So then that is basically all I do for my natural brow as such. I then go into a brow gel, which will generally make it a lot more um, bushier and sort of hair-like effect. So this is the Maybelline Precise um, Fiber Filler Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. Um, I really, really like this. I did again speak on my um, video last time with, I will link that video down below, um, but basically I spoke about this and it is so, so good. I mean, I can't rave about it enough. It's got fibers in it, um, which will give you that kind of fuller effect brow. Um, and they come in like four different shades, so you aren't having to worry about going for just the medium brown. Um, and it gives you that kind of fluffier effect and it adds kind of like the tint, it adds the color and it keeps your hairs up really nice and also it's got the fibers in it. So it's got a little bit more of a shimmer to it, which you will see when I apply it, which you don't see it as a shimmer. It's really, really strange. But basically this is the brush here. And all I tend to do is brush at the front because you, this bit is the more natural. It's got nothing on at the front. So then I will go brush all this away and I bring it up because I do like the effect of having that fluffy, fluffy brow. And then obviously really saturating it really coating it. If you've got big fluffy brows anyway, you're like such a lucky bugger. So now that that is all laid down, it's a really, really quick and easy eyebrow. Um, this is now for the carving bar part. I find this really, really important for a strong brow, even if you are going for more natural. I tend to do it more. If I am a natural, having a natural day, then it needs to be done anyway because I've got that tattoo, so it needs to be covered up. But I always like the effect that carving out the eyebrows give. Um, I do believe it gives, it kind of cleans it up. It makes it look a lot more sharper and cleaner. And also, it just looks a lot better. <laughs> really. Um, so what I'm going to do is go into my NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee and I just literally take this flat synthetic brush and um, it's really really good because it's so precise for the eyebrow. So basically now what we're going to do is go underneath this here and basically with this I think with the natural brow I'm not really that neat with when I carve out um, because most of the idea of doing it is to cover up this awful tattoo I've got going on. Um, and yeah, I basically take it across and cover up that bad boy there. I forgot to mention, I have done my face obviously before because you <laughs> obviously can see. Um, if I was to do a really dramatic eyeshadow look, only really do my eyebrows first if I am, like I said, doing a really dramatic look. Hmm. Um, doing a really dramatic look because it, it's there. You might as well do your eyes and your eyebrows and then you finish off your face. But I prefer when I day to day, I do do my face first. Everyone is different and everyone has a different preference for it. Yeah. That is how simple that was and how long that took me. This looks amazing. So that is a really, really nice, natural, but really strong brow. So now over to the other side. I'm gonna look really strange right now because these are two different colors, so. YOLO. <laughs> okay, so for this side, this is more of where I would wear on a really sort of big night out, somewhere where I've got a shite ton of makeup on and I'm glam to the max. So I would want a really strong defined brow. This side always goes better than this side, so I'm hoping it will work today. <laughs> so um, basically to do this, I'm gonna be using a pomade. Um, I love pomades and I think, to be honest, they're not hyped up enough anymore. They used to be really, really hyped up, but now they are kind of, um, they've lost, lost their way a little bit and I do find that people re like reach more for pencils or brand finers. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can see it's well loved. This is in the shade medium brown. You can pick this one off um, Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty. Really, really good. I don't get a lot of product on this at all. And this brush I'm using is the Morphe E29. It's got a spoolie at this end and a really, really fine tip at this end to get that really, really strong, strong eyebrow. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is basically the same as what I did with the pencil on the other side, but it's gonna be a little bit more heavy handed and it's gonna look good. So I basically go underneath again, but I do stop around about there. So then I'll go underneath. I am missing a few um, areas here of my hairs. So I do like to take it a little bit more under to where my actual natural hairs are. I haven't got a lot of product on this brush because I like to, it's always good 
to go light-handed and go um, easy with the product first because you don't want an explosion of dark on your eyebrow. I've done that plenty of times, don't get me wrong, it's a normal daily occurrence for me. But when you do that, you, there's no going back and it's so hard. So I try to go light-handed first and then if you want to build it up, it's always good. So basically now I do the same, so I will go out like so and then I would go up the top here and to be honest for a, a glam look I do tend to go a little bit bigger of an eyebrow this side is obviously really really fine I do like to go a little bit bigger not sluggy but don't talk it up because it could happen um, but I do like to go that little bit thicker so again there I stop so you can see it's kind of like in the middle of your eye shape so it goes to there tail should always end there start should always start there so it's always like in line like that apparently <laughs> i don't know i could be completely wrong right now um but then basically all i will do is connect that like so and then this bit is where I wouldn't worry about hair strokes because I want it so severe, I tend to literally the friggin' hell out of it. So I will completely and utterly saturate it now. So fill it in. Again with this brush, oh, I just love, I love Morphe brushes, Every, anyone knows that. Like Morphe brushes are my favorite. But this brush is like a game changer for brows. I just, you just get such a severe bold line again you can get this off beauty bay what i will do is link every single product i've used down below and the brushes so that you can get this whole complete brow look if you don't you don't if you don't want to if you think i look like a slug so be it <laughs> so then basically that is what you are looking at so i've gone a tiny tiny bit thicker um as you can see it doesn't look dramatic the color is completely different i've got to go on school run like this lovely so um it's completely different but it's still really, really strong, but not as fluffy as this side, if that makes sense. You've got a daytime brow, you've got a nighttime brow. Um, that's all what I always associate it with. This is my nighttime brow, and I freaking love it. So then basically, at the front, I do the same. So I don't bring it... I use like the excess of the product on my brush. I don't use any more. And all I will do is start through here. This is the eyebrow where you need to carve out. If you are gonna go for a big, bold eyebrow, you need to carve it out. If you're not, you're not gonna get the same effect. Um, so I bent basically will sort of put it in at the front and flick it up, just so you don't get a lot of product. I will then brush my brush through, really, really light-handed, not a lot at all, and then just brush it out. And that is basically the bold eyebrow nearly done. So then again, like the other brow, I will then go into a brow gel. Same brow gel, and I friggin' I just, oh, I can't get enough of this stuff, seriously. So basically, you will then do exactly the same, brush it through, um, like so. This is such a good brow gel, because it's so, it's such a strong gel. I know it sounds really stupid, but it's kind of like it will stick your hairs up, even if you're, you've got them really coarse eyebrows. It will still work. I, I can't, I just can't. <laughs> NARS concealer, and we're gonna carve this bitch out. So with this, I am a little bit neater, so I am a little bit more um, precise, if that makes sense. And I will always add a little bit more product than what I would on the other eyebrow. This basically will give you the shape if you've messed up, it always cleans it up, which is always good, but it gives you the shape of what you want um, and it makes it look that little bit sharper. Brilliant for pictures as well. Cover over this stupid tattoo uh, again. And then typically, if I hadn't done my eye um, mascara, I would have gone over my lid with this. Um, so I bring it down and just kind of pat away. You don't want to go for a big old clumpy lump of product in your eyebrow you want to sort of take a fair bit of product but feather it out so you don't have a major explosion of concealer on your eyelid not that ain't pretty this video is so easy <laughs> okay so these are the two brows as you can see they are so completely different but they both took me some 
basically the same amount of time. So this side we've got day eyebrow. This is my daily eyebrow, which I go to every single day, if not anything, to be honest. But I do love my eyebrows being on, even if I haven't got makeup on. And this is my nighttime. So as you can see, it's a lot more stronger, it's darker. Um, I personally love darker eyebrows with blonde hair or grey hair So now because I completely decided to tone it today. Um, and yeah, so you can see that this is a really, really nice, strong, dark brow. I freaking love this brow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see from far away, you can see the difference. It's not a crazy, crazy amount of difference, but you can see that this one is definitely a stronger eyebrow. It's definitely more for nighttime. Um, I don't think personally, for me, it actually looks that bad with like my makeup today because I think I've got a strong lip on. It looks really cool. Um, but this side obviously is the more natural, more dainty kind of side. And then you've got this side. <clears throat> I love it. Okay, so I really hope this helped. Please comment down below. I would love to know what eyebrow you actually like better. Um, I know that there's some strong opinions about dark eyebrows with blonde hair, so I'd love to know if you like this one better or this side. So say um, daytime eyebrow and nighttime eyebrow. Tell me down below what one you prefer. I would love to know. Um, I am not gonna feel offended, don't worry. So say what you feel um, and yeah. I really love both of these looks. Um, they're a go-to every single day for mine. I hope this really helped you. Like I said, I will put all the products down below um, if you are interested in buying any. Um, they are brilliant. And like I said, the only bougie, bougie products I used were the NARS concealer, which you can get a pomade concealer sometimes. Um, I tend to use the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour concealer pomade. I use that every single day normally but because I've bought this it's a new purchase for NARS and I can't get enough of it so you don't have to go as bougie as NARS you can go for L'Oreal and it works exactly the same I really like this product I use this a lot to cut out my crease the brow pomade it is Anastasia Beverly Hills so it is a little bit more pricier but you can in the drugstore you can find more cheaper um, versions I mean the Revolution Pro ones are smashing I just got a bit more of a wrong color for that one so I am gonna go and buy myself a new one of them um, but like I I said the pen pencil from L'Oreal is really really affordable um, and I know that uh, Boots at the moment have got three for two off all brands so you can go and get your L'Oreal pencil you can go and get your concealer and you can go and get your um, brow gel so it's all it's all good it's all good in the hood if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and I hope it was helpful for you like I said um, have a lovely rest of your day or night wherever you are and I will see you in my next one